And welcome back to another episode of Modern Skyblock 2 with Wayno. And as you can see, we are still on the same day, same five seconds after the last one. So I'm still cruising. I might actually start producing these while I wait. Because a few. Ooh, I don't actually need them there, do I? I don't know what I'm doing, hey. I'm missing something. Blood orbs. No, blood orbs are there. Apples. I was just thinking those um, Restonia, not Redstonia, uh, Resonating Redstone is what I was after. So, but no. This goes in the middle, and this goes where that one went there. And there we go. We are cooking up the rest of these. I'm actually after one more set of nether brick. I'm having a bad day. Couldn't even work out how to do that. Is that This will give me my last set of brick, and then all I need is the two blood orbs, which will be coming along slowly. Hopefully, they are completed. Because now they are needed. So hopefully at least one is done. Be better if both one is done. They take like what one, two, three, like three seconds to be done. So I did it again. That meant to go there. Uh, we'll get the cobalt out. Hopefully I got. Note 4, so we got the same amount there. So, to make it easier, we'll do this. This. The only thing I'm missing is the yarn. Um, so, we will do that now. Now, it does not matter which gem that you pick. So, uh, this one will do. I'm pretty sure this will work. All we need to do is we break it down into nine and we cry because we don't actually have enough of them. String, so we need to make some more string. Cannot wait to get a farm up and running. I, I can actually, pretty sure I can jump to a farm or not. I just, <laughs> I was talking and I completely stuffed up on what I was actually growing. Growing string, not rice. So I'm pretty sure I can jump straight to making. Um, crap, I can't remember what I was trying to make. Oh my god, I'm. Yeah, I need a little bit more string. Um, what was I going to make? Um, that's right, magma crucible. No, I can't because I need a bucket because I needed the rip, uh, redstone coil. Uh, which requires ember dawnstone. So, okay, so that's enough. So I'll put that away, and that can go in there as well. The seeds can go in here. Quickly put my knife away. I don't even know what's a cutting knife, but I am using so much power. Wow. And there's the owl. I wish I could tame it. Oh, it would be amazing if I could. Um, blood orb for the last one. There she is. So, blood orb. And I need to convert a few lapises, lapis. Uh, actually, I only need to do four, don't I? And that is everything required and there we go so now we are 
officially, well, not officially, but we are into the, the, basically the next era of making buckets. You would think this would be easy to make a bucket. I mean, just getting a hammer and some aluminium or something along those lines. And I put double them down. What am I missing? That. But yes, he has decided to make a rolling machine right at the end. So there we go. We have our four. Now we can make our rolling machine. Cheer. Seriously, cheer. Come on. Yay, Wayno. Yay. See, now that's how you do it. Um, now we need six of them, some lots of rubber, and we enter the rolling machine. I know we need to make actually probably more of these, so we need one more of them, so and then we need another one of them, and we need heaps of other stuff. So this, do I have any? I do have a large amount of cobble, and I'll probably need more metal. I need four exactly. So um, that's one lot, that's two lot, three and four. That come down, that go in, that produces the four of them. And now we need to make alubras, as it's called. Uh, we should be able to make this in the alloy furnace. No, we cannot. We can make it in the tinkers, so I know that. Which is aluminium and copper, so one copper and three aluminium. So we got some copper here, and aluminium should be over here. Uh, silver, iron, tin. Aluminium. Oh wow, we don't actually have that many. We only need one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, a one, two, three. Uh oh. Uh oh. Crap, that's gonna empty out. And there's some more bronze. And there's some more aluminium. More aluminium. I, I caught it in time, so that's not too bad. And there is our aluminium brass, which should actually make three. We'll just clear out this. All we need is one. And then into the crusher. And as you can see, we have made free gold. Literally free gold. So that is our. Actually, I need two, don't I? And then alum, al, uh, aluminium, aluminium. I need two of them. And then we'll do this. So it proves that you actually do need to. Aha. Huh. What is it trying to empty? Aluminium. Seriously? God, this is a pain in the ass sometimes. It doesn't mix. Sometimes it just. I don't know if that actually has any left over, so let's just see. No, it was just, yeah, trying to pull it out too early. We have a spare, so we can whack that into there. And we have our two. Actually, I needed that. Because it needs to go in here. Okay, so I need the chips, uh, reinforced iron, uh, four of them, I'll grab one just for luck, and some redstone, and the second one of them, and then we'll make uh, actually need more rubber. Damn! Sap there. Do I have a tree tap? I don't see one, so go like this with this. 
I really should make an electric one of these. I really should find out how to actually get this without breaking trees. Okay, that looks good. That can go because I only had a little bit left. So we got quite a bit out of that, and then we put this into the extractor. But we'll worry about that in a tick. I will just continue on making all my machines. So we need another machine block. So we need more casings, more reinforced iron, which is okay. I have everything here. But you look at that. So. It doesn't really matter which way I go to make these. So, because in the end, did I miscount? Ah, oh, I, I miscounted. Needs f another four. Damn. That that actually hurts. That 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 made me cry. I need to do another four. One, two, three, four. I probably realised I need more, but I just didn't think on the blood orb side. And only made two. Um, so, we still need them. I don't need them. Uh, still need that, don't need that. Um, uh, do, do, I need the nether bricks. They should actually make some. So, and that will give me more, but I need you and I need a stack of you. Which it gave me a stack. Okay, so we whack that in. My lever has gone! My lever! My lever! Uh, don't. Must have washed away and I didn't pick it up. See? Bad glass. Okay, so I throw a 64, break that in half and then do that and that's 24. And then we go bang. Done. But I'm finished with that glass now, as I know I can just break all that top down and then just have mechanical user placing there and it will duplicate my blocks. I will probably just do a stack of 64 and get a mechanical user just placing and breaking or and a breaker there. Um, it'll be really easy to do. So, I seem to have already enough of these. Um, this will give me the other four I need. Um, so, let me put some junk away. I keep filling it up with. Okay, so now I just need apples and blood orbs, which I actually need more glass for, which are over here, which I need iron. Okay, so you can make me 10, we'll do. No, I lied, I want 14. And if I could actually automate this to constantly pull out, I would, because what it meant to do is pull out um, everything and then cycle back in with what it is, but it's not, it just gets down to se four seared blocks and then stops, so I'm not too sure why it does that. So this will just keep filling up. See? And then it just stops. I think it keeps cycling, but it doesn't pull out enough. So, but that's fine. Because, yeah. 
just would like to automate it. I really need to learn how to speed that up because apparently you can, but I don't know how. So, and I'm stuck on the blood orbs again, which is a shame. Ah, so those 14 will make me heaps for the future, so I'll try and automate all of that, try and work out how a better way would be to automate it. So, and I know I'll end up using more of them, so in between episodes this will probably be my last one maybe for tonight, I do not know, but if it is... I will probably just finish up on the um, making the rolling machine. So, yeah, so this is going to take a while, and I need four. So I will probably um, work something out, but for now we'll just continue on. Um, I actually might make the mechanical user for that because that will help me in the future so it's one of them I can't remember what the mechanical user is um, I need to start on embers once I get a bucket as well so I need some steel um, I think I might whack a f another lot of steel in there um, Actually, do it through the press. So this will be a lot quicker. See, instead of going through that, you go through this. See how much quicker it is? It's already done. See, and four done. And the plate looks. The plates look a lot better. I need a piece of copper. Done. So we uh, we need the extraction of that, which is still going. Wow. We got a heap, and we will turn. Oh, I guess I need more, but that's fine. Dropper, which we need some cobble. And only need one. And there is our mechanical user. So I can actually break all this down now. It all becomes useless. So it will be a lot easier for me to move this thing now. Glass. We still need the hopper, and I seem to have filled myself up on this. We don't need that anymore. If I do, I'll just make more, and a lot of it didn't get thrown over edge. There we go. I'll keep the crucible because that can come in handy. Same with the rest of it. Um, there we go, and then I can just Got a little Swedish there. grab a stack of 64, yeah. tell it to generic, place block, right click, and always stuff a slot. This will go through, yeah. and it will make now iron blocks. And then we can duplicate all our iron, especially since this has become a lot harder to make. So, I, he said he changed some stuff, but I didn't realise he changed that. And that is a killer, because everything else is easy, it's just this. If he could up the chance on this and make that easier, it would be a hell of a lot easier. But he doesn't want to. So... Ah, it's no fun for us. So I'll always keep up with the uh, um, latest instead of chopping and changing to what I like, like some of the other 
um, people who stream this um, I always try and keep it to what he is doing at the current time and there we are and apples so as much as it pains me I would love to be back in 2.4.1 where or is it 2.4.2 he fixed the blocks in one of them and it was all working and it was really really nicely and then he had to remove something and add something and completely screwed with the system but there other people said there are other ways to fix them a lot of people used a um, world editor to go in and change all the IDs where I actually packed up my island and put them into chests as I showed you guys so yeah which gave me the updates they added a extra one called uh, no more IDs or not enough IDs something like that so I don't even know what they are in there I noticed that a while ago while I'm cleaning up I'll fix it so, and then I need to start on this and it's like 400 a tick or something to run these machines and you need two of them so how many witches in here? not enough to kill them yet so nearly one, two for one more <sighs> those owls are really getting around aren't they? I wonder what they drop did it die? That must have died. I wonder if the cat came after it and killed it. Hmm. I still haven't worked out which way I'm going with my power, but I am leaning towards just doing um, big uh, extreme reactors because it is rather powerful for the size of it is it is quicker and I think it would be easier to run because you cannot actually make the garden close just as yet because of the stuff that we need um, I could do advanced generators but I don't actually know and there's no way of reading up on them properly so I think between episodes or tomorrow I'll sit down for 15 minutes and probably read it how to do it. Um, so yeah, we will. I'll work out which way I'm going, but I need storage over actual production because it's gonna. Co if I do one block, it will be 50 million of power, but I can actually store. If I could store that, it will be better than the way of actually get, having like what 10 plus another three so you're looking at 13 of the immersive engineering but you'll only require one okay oh the hopper ha huh. I I didn't actually think of that I'm so derpy Um, so yeah, it'll have to be that way, and that back in there, I, oh wow, there we go, that'll work now, so I will we'll make, um, ooh, I wonder if glowstone's made the same way, hmm, interesting, I'll think about, it. Right, we're nearly finished, um, what was I thinking about, uh, talking about, um, yeah, the power, um, there is also forestry way of power, um, and you probably could convert it to EU using this P. And there was another biogas way. I couldn't actually see the forestry biogas in the list. So I'll have to go through. And uh, we need to make these camouflaging panels, which is going to be actually not too bad. That's quite easy to do since we can get all this through. It's not too bad. Uh, let's quickly for the power side of it, because there's the farm. Okay, here. So you got the bottler, centrifuge, fermenter. So you, you need to do something with the fermenter. I haven't done it for ages. Oh, that's right. The fermenter, steel. Um, 
Yeah. I think it's the fermenter and steel you need to work together. Uh, and then you pump it out into a biogas engine or of a form of biogas. So. But we, I will look into it and see which is the best way because I actually have uh, saplings and everything already there to run. So I could do it that way. So we're at the 25 minute mark now, so hopefully we can quickly get a rolling machine done for today. Um, so there is the second one. I actually need some stone for that, so six there. Uh, actually are they both compressors? They are both compressors. So I need another six. Six stone and now I need to make more copper, not make but get. And there it is. There's the other one. And rolling machine. Okay, everybody has to cheer now. Yay! Yay! We we finished the game. Yay! Now we can quit. So and we put you there. Exhale. Okay, now we hook this bad boy up and make some damn pockets. This way, won't it? Oh my god. And yeah, we'll leave that. Okay, so now we officially can make buckets. How awesome is that? So. Now we can continue on and actually start making the frames from thermal expansion. So. I don't know what R does, so it may distribute all this, but it has, yeah. So there we go, we have six buckets now, so we are excited, because we can make everything that we required buckets with. So there we go, achievement just to get in a bucket, no, no achievement just for a bucket because they never meant to be this hard to make. But now we officially are nice and cozy with buckets. So we don't need the clay buckets anymore. We can actually pick our lava up with them or what not you want to do with it. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. But we are now... Did I just see an owl? I don't know. But we, we have now buckets, so we actually can now go down and start on embers and then we can actually start on and do all the thermal expansion stuff. There actually is no thermal expansion in the list here. I don't know why he hasn't added it, but it should be right here. It should be between the 2.9 and 2.10 and get, to get that started. So. Now, to get into um, embers, I'm going to actually rearrange my area, as I said, because it is uh, 12 o'clock at night here now, uh, 12.05 to be precise. It is at the 30 minute mark, so I will end up destroying all this between um, breaks. I will move the smeltery over, so do not get upset but I think it will be um, boring and it will probably take a whole episode to destroy that, expand that out, move that over there, um, destroy all this and move all of this around to the corner here because now with this setup, actually I'll probably end up moving all this over here actually. So there'll be the, the smeltery and then that little setup just in here. So this should give it enough room to do it. 
Um, so that will be between episodes. I know I said I'll try and do, or I'll do all of it on um, screen, but this will probably take a whole entire episode, and you probably don't want to watch me move at all. But it will happen. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, it. As you've seen, I kept getting sidetracked on doing it, and I will take it out. It'll give me a breather to move it all. This will give me this nice area for actual embers to do. So I'll probably make um, another room just here, and I'll probably move um, this stuff or leave it. I don't know, but this will give me a nice room for embers and then carpentry, not carpentry, forestry. A nice little small room. Um, and then they will give me this area for the um, uh, astral sorcery in this little area and anything else because I try and contain everything to their own little rooms, 9x9s, nine nines, um, because they're just good. So this should be finished, yep. So this will be my new way, see 52 or you double that and that will be insanely a lot. So that is quite a bit that I got out of it. So this is, will be the new way that I'll be doing it so you can actually get this early on I just didn't realize it that you could do it this way so with the guys that are still playing it that are far behind me and you um, can make a mechanical user go this way straight away you make everything this way because this is where it converts it with the, the glass but you convert it to the blocks and then you can do either do a one-on-one -on -one. it will save you actually um, yeah, save you a lot. So, or you can double it in there. So, smeltery you can actually get pretty quick if you push yourself to get here really quickly. Uh, the smeltery. So, yeah, um, which you need still. So you need to follow that line anyway to get your crusher and to get your smeltery up. But even if you get a small smeltery, you would double your ores pretty early on, which I did not know. So. That is now the end of this episode. We are pretty much on time. And as you can see, my machine over there is working perfectly to get rid of the excess fluids. So I am keeping that. It is awesome. So I will see you guys uh, in the next episode. And things will change a little, but not too much. So um, have fun and laters.